We grow a few different quince varieties, including the ornamental Chinese quince and the very delicious pineapple quince. You can make quince leaf tea quite easily. It's the month of June, which means it's the first month of winter here where I live. And the quince trees have almost lost all their leaves, but there's a few left and I'm going to pick some quince leaves to make quince leaf tea. contains tannin and pectin which are both said to have health benefits. These are freshly picked quince leaves and I've also washed them just in case some insects have been walking over them with their dirty feet and to make this quince leaf tea just putting some leaves into this well, I don't have a teapot at the moment, so this is a coffee pot, but this will just do the same job. So I've got some, there's the quince leaves. And along with the quince leaves, I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon verbena, which is a very nice fragrant herb and has a beautiful fragrance and flavour. So a bit of lemon verbena. And also... For colour, I'm going to add a little turmeric, which is a teaspoon of turmeric, turmeric powder. And I'm going to add some ginger for extra flavour and also because ginger is supposed to be very good for your digestive system. So a teaspoon of ginger, some ground black pepper. It's um, going to help you digest and I'm also going to add some lemon, just a little bit of freshly cut lemon, chopped up, freshly picked lemon I should say. So in goes the lemon and that's everything except I've got to add honey later but not until the tea is ready. So. Time to add boiling water. As with any tea, let that stand for a while to let it brew and then strain it. Add some honey. This is going to be very refreshing and healthful. This tastes really nice. And I know it's doing me good. Quince leaf tea. Cheers.